How to stop scratching a mosquito bite. If you like to be outside during the warmer months, then you are probably no stranger to mosquitoes. These little bloodsuckers are notorious for leaving a slew of itchy welts in their wake. Mosquito bites heal much more effectively, not to mention quickly, if they are not scratched. If you should find yourself afflicted, take steps to stop yourself from scratching. This way, your mosquito bites can fade away with ease. Welcome to TheGuardiansChoice.com This video will tell you how to using strategies to avoid scratching the bite, using home remedies to stop the itch, and using over-the-counter treatments to stop the itch. So keep watching, get your solution, and enjoy! Method 1. Using strategies to avoid scratching the bite. Number 1. Scratch yourself near the itch. Anyone who has ever had a broken bone and worn a cast knows, sometimes you just can't scratch an itch. One way to get some relief is to scratch someplace else on your body. This little mind trick relieves your body's desire to scratch without further inflaming the mosquito bite. You can try scratching near the itch, such as in a large circle around the bite. Be careful not to touch it by mistake. Alternatively, you can scratch someplace completely different, like the top of your head or the bottom of your feet. Repeat this any time you feel compelled to scratch. Number 2. Pat the bite. Instead of scratching, you can get some relief by gently patting the mosquito bite. A few light taps may be all that you need to soothe the itch and prevent scratching. If that doesn't work, you may try a slightly more intense pat. Eventually, you may even choose to slap the bite. Wait a few moments after patting before you increase the intensity of your pats. It may take a few moments for the pat to work. Repeat this anytime you feel compelled to scratch. Number 3. Distract yourself. One of the simplest ways to stop yourself from scratching is just to get your mind off of it. Do anything that can get your mind off the itch. The best activities will be things that involve your hands. That way, you'll be less likely to scratch absent-mindedly. Play tennis. Do a crossword puzzle. Bake oatmeal cookies. Number 4. Use meditation. Meditation has been an effective treatment for relieving itchiness caused by psoriasis. Use it to stop scratching your mosquito bites. Instead of focusing on the itch, simply close your eyes, take some deep breaths, and try not to think about anything. Set a timer and try to do this for 5 minutes at a time. Look for guided meditations online if you would enjoy some guidance. Or put on some soothing music to help you relax. Number 5. Put socks on your hands. Putting socks on your hands is an easy way to remind yourself not to scratch. Even if you do scratch while the socks are on your hands, you won't be able to do much damage. You can make a sock puppet playhouse and play with socks on your hands. This is good for children because it distracts them from their bites and focuses their attention on the game. Number 6. Use scotch tape. Sealing the bite off from air can help reduce itchiness. Apply a piece of scotch tape onto your mosquito bite to accomplish this. Using scotch tape has the added benefit of preventing inadvertent touching, scratching, or irritation. It will be helpful for you to clean the affected area before applying the tape. Remove the scotch tape and repeat two to three times per day. Regular scotch tape will work best, but packing tape is a good option, too. Avoid using duct tape, as it can irritate your skin. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no. Method 2. Using home remedies to stop the itch. Number 1. Ice it. 
a mosquito bite is essentially a pocket of acute inflammation. Not unlike a swollen knee, this inflammation can be treated by applying ice. The application of ice to a mosquito bite will also cause numbing, further reducing your desire to scratch. Apply ice for up to 20 minutes at a time. Fill a plastic bag with ice, use a reusable ice pack, or use a bag of frozen berries or peas. Whatever you choose, wrap it with a towel. Don't expose your bare skin to the frozen material. Number 2. Make a baking soda paste. Mix a tablespoon of baking soda with a tablespoon of water to make a paste. Apply this paste to any mosquito bite. The baking soda will soothe your skin, calming the itch, and soon you won't even want to scratch. If you do not have baking soda, a similar paste can be made from crushed antacid, like Tumson water. Apply this paste as often as is needed. Number 3. Use a dab of honey. Another approach is to apply honey to a mosquito bite. Honey can relieve itching, pain, and minor inflammation. Simply rub a small, dime-sized dollop of the sweet stuff into any mosquito bites on your body. Be sparing with your application of honey. It is sticky and can pick up unwanted dirt. Number 4. Use tea tree oil. The antiseptic properties of tea tree oil or melaleuca oil may possibly help treat a variety of skin conditions, including mosquito bites, although there is no scientific evidence for this. Place a little tea tree essential oil onto a cotton swab and apply it to the affected area. Lavender and peppermint oils can be used as well, although there is no proven effectiveness. If you have very sensitive skin, you can mix a few drop of essential oil with coconut oil and then apply. This will dilute the oil just enough to make it gentle to your skin. Number 5. Apply a tea bag. Make yourself a nice cup of tea and retain your tea bag. Then press the warm tea bag into your mosquito bite. The natural tannins in tea have an astringent property, which may lessen your discomfort. The best choice is pure black tea. You can reuse the same tea bag a few times before it loses its potency. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no. Method 3. Using over-the-counter treatments to stop the itch. Number 1. Apply Hydrocortisone. Hydrocortisone 1% is a topical cream used to treat itchy skin conditions. Apply a dime-sized portion to any mosquito bite and wait a few minutes for the cream to take effect. Clean the affected area before applying. Use up to four times a day. Do not use longer than seven days. For children under six months, consult a doctor. However, do not use hydrocortisone on children under the age of two or apply on the rectal or vaginal area of children younger than 12 years old unless you have been directed to do so by a doctor. Number 2. Take an oral allergy medication. An orally ingested antihistamine, such as Benadryl, can alleviate mosquito bite symptoms. Follow the recommended dosage to stop yourself from scratching. You can even take this medication preemptively, if you know you will be exposed to a large number mosquito bites. Dosage is based on your age, medical condition, and response to treatment, so follow the instructions on the packaging. For children under 6 months, consult a doctor. Number 3. Use an antihistamine cream. Similar to hydrocortisone, antihistamine creams are topical ointments used to treat skin allergies. You can use a topical antihistamine cream to treat mosquito bites. Just apply a dime-sized amount to any bites, and soon you will stop scratching. Clean affected area before applying. Use up to four times a day. This should be used topically only, and not ingested. For children under six months, consult a doctor. Number 4. Use Calamine Lotion. Calamine Lotion is famous for treating the wounds of chicken pox, but it can have a similarly soothing effect for mosquito bites. Use a cotton ball to apply the pink liquid to any mosquito bite. 
Calamine lotion is safe for babies. Number 5. Apply rubbing alcohol. Isopropyl rubbing alcohol can be used to stop the itching of mosquito bites. Rubbing alcohol helps to ease inflammation and calm the itch. Furthermore, rubbing alcohol can disinfect the bite, reducing any risk of infection. Use a cotton swab to apply some rubbing alcohol to any affected area. Take care not to get rubbing alcohol in your mouth or eyes, because this will cause irritation. Tips 1. Try to avoid getting mosquito bites if you know you'll be in an area where there are a lot of mosquitoes. To reduce your chances of getting mosquito bites, you can stay indoors at dawn, dusk, and in the early evening, wear long pants and long sleeves when you go outdoors, apply bug spray with DEET or picarid into all exposed skin, get rid of standing water where mosquitoes breed, and use screens on windows and doors to keep the bugs out. 2. Cut your nails shorter than usual until it feels uncomfortable to scratch anything. Not only will this remind you not to itch, but it will also make it physically hard to scratch anything. 3. Wear a sweater. Sweaters scratch the mosquito bite lightly and don't do much damage. Warnings 1. If the lump does not disappear within two weeks of you not scratching it, you may want to see a doctor. It could be a spider bite, and some of these require medical attention. 2. If you live in a country where you are likely to get lots of mosquito bites, remember that scratching them can cause infection and make the bite much worse. It is best not to sacrifice your health for the sake of a few minutes relief. 3. If a mosquito bite causes a fever, vomiting, or shortness of breath, then call 911 or get to an emergency room immediately. 4. Mosquitoes can pass along illnesses that can make you very sick, such as West Nile virus and encephalitis. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no.